Bailey, uh, who was a graduate of the Art Institute of Pittsburgh Online. I enrolled, I enrolled like most, thinking I would get a degree at a school that promised to help find good jobs post-graduation. So why not, I thought. Little did I know that once I finished, I'd be 50000 in debt and only have a minimum wage job that has absolutely nothing to do with my degree. While in school, I had three instructors that rather than help me, told me things like, you should do self-taught learning as well. Google it. Teach yourself. And apparently this was more than acceptable by the school. Rather than try to fix the issue of instructors not teaching online, I was hounded about furthering my academic career and enrolling in more classes. If I'd have known, I'd be literally teaching myself in every single class I took just to have an instructor grade my work and point out what's wrong That's, and not what was done well. I'd have told these people not, oh, let's see, what do you say? Um, not that I wouldn't go there in the first place. Since graduating, I've been hounded by phone, email, etc., to further my academic career and enrolling back into the scam school. I cringe every time I see one of their multitude of live filled commercials and ads now. It makes me sick to my stomach to know that I fell for their trap and now I'm buried in my, up to my neck in debt. Their joke of a career center that helps you find jobs consists of a so-called career counselor sending me emails and telling me over the phone to use sites like Indeed, Monster, Jobs.com, and so on to find jobs and using keywords like photography, photo editing, and etc. Who would have ever guessed you'd need to pay 50000 for some fool on the phone to tell you keywords to use on a job website? What awesome career placement. The best part, I complained about how there were no close jobs around me on these sites and the counselor's only feedback or help was to use different keywords. Now I'm con constantly hounded by student loan forgiveness scam companies that want me to pay them 600 just to do the paperwork that might get my student loans reduced and forgiven in 30 to 40 years. Right now, I. My, right now, I simply cannot afford to pay the 600 a month on loans that are based on a terrible education from predatory fraudulent school. I have placed them in forbearance due to economic hardship, but the interest just continues to grow. Debt from this fraud needs to be forgiven. The department needs to actively work to salvage students' future trust in the system. If I had one word to summarize my experience with higher education, it would be this, imprisoned. Thank you.